Hello everyone, Maya here. Welcome to my latest video for the Hip Kit Club. Today my assignment is to make a layout using some of the packaging that comes with the kits. I decided that I want to use the bag and the tissue paper that comes with each kit. So I wanted to make a big shaker onto the 12 by 12 paper. So I already cut out half of the bag and I'm going to be stitching around the edges to make it stick. To make it a little easier I decided that I should put down a little bit of adhesive so that it will move when I'm doing the stitching and I'll be just stitching three side sides of the page so that I can have the top side open so I can slip things inside. So there it is, the stitching has magically appeared and then I'll be cutting these circles from the tissue paper. I'm using the regular print paper to pack it up so that it's easier to cut the quite delicate tissue paper. I'm already loving the way it looks adding the rest in and then going to the pattern papers to see what elements I could fussy cut out of the papers and decided to start with this lovely heart pa paper from the Great Paper Sunny Days collection. All of these things that I'm using in these layouts are from the main kit of March 2019 I am probably the last one to get the April kits as I live in the quite northern part of, of Europe so it takes a little while for the kits to arrive to me but I love that March kit so I'm happy to use it as much as I can. So I'm just fussy cutting all these hearts and then slipping them into the shaker. Then I want to go through the ephemera pack, the exclusive pack for Hip Kit Club designed by Kim Watson. So I want to go through that to see if I can find something and decided to go with these hearts that are perfect match for the great paper heart shapes. I'm always referring back to my photo to see what kind of colors go together with the photo. That's kind of my thing. And I like the green with the blues on the photo. And I wanted to make more of the circles, the same size that I already made with the tissue paper. So I'm making more of those in this green color. It's the paper by Heidi Swap from the Color Fresh collection. And I couldn't resist making more circles with this lovely kind of parasol shaped pattern paper from the Great Paper Sunny Days collection. So I'm just cutting all these blue greenish shapes and then cutting the little circles, circles of that paper. And again, I'm referring back to the photo to see what it might need more to emphasize the photo. And I really wanted to add some other elements than just circles into the shaker pocket. So I love the colors on these butterflies, also from the Sunny Days collection. So I'm just fussy cutting a few of those to add them to the pocket. Thank you. 
when making a shaker pockets, either big or small, but especially when it's big like this one, I like to add quite a lot of things inside. So I went to my stash and got this plain white tissue paper and I'm cutting a bunch of those, those circles out from the tissue paper to add more, more things into the shaker pockets. So then it's just shake it, shake it, shake it, and I'll be stitching the upper side of the paper. And there you have it, it's magically stitched again. And I'm making this border because I quite didn't like the fact that when you are stitching plastic bag, it kind of wrinkles and all the stitches aren't quite even. So I wanted to hide the stitching part of it. So I just got this one inch frame that I'm adhering onto the other paper. And then it's embellishing time. I am packing up the photo with pattern papers. I had the white borders on it, but didn't like them. So I got that off and then just adding a few of the pattern papers, same ones that I used on the embellishments in the pockets and also this lovely flower wreath leaf leaf cut out from one of the Sunny Days collection papers. So again, a lot of fussy cutting. And this one is also from the Sunny Days. They are a perfect match for the photo. It's my son on a beach in, in Greece last summer. I love that he's kind of just like looking looking at the ocean and probably thinking what a wonderful world it is. So now I'm just trying to find perfect place for all these embellishments that I picked out. I decided that I wanted to make the page a little more even, so I added a little flag or a banner on the right hand corner, kind of balance out the photo cluster on the other side and then just adding a little bit of those hearts that I already cut out in the two pockets so that they kind of go together perfectly and a few more embellishments and there you have it. I hope you like it, I hope you try it. It's a fun way to use these basic things that come with, with the kids, making something beautiful with them. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the Heap Kit Club webpage for all the goodies in April and the ones that are coming out in May. <laughs>